It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer today. We've got a very special beer from Stig Baguettes and OO Brewing Company. It's a bottle of their Imperial IPA. It's coming in at 8% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Oh, oh, oh look at this. I always pour the beer and then we can talk about the the reason for the collaboration and who, who the breweries are in the collaboration. We'll talk about that in a moment. But first and foremost, it's all about the beer. It's all about what the beer looks like in the glass and smells like and tastes like and everything else. So one finger slightly off white head, hazy, hazy colored Imperial IPA. Hazy is not a color, I suppose. Let me give you a better description of the beer. Hazy Amber, Hazy Amber coloured beer. 8% ABV, good levels of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Oh, that smells incredible. Absolutely incredible. Grapefruit, citrus, mango, orange, fleshy blood orange, some lemon. Let's dive in. Cheers. Boom! But I gotta go again. Boom, but I gotta go again. Hold on a moment. Blimey. That is a fantastic beer. Stone the Crows. 8% ABV. It's just full of super juicy, incredible hops. I've had the muddle. I've had the, the Stig Baguette Amazing Haze. Fabulous beers. This is slightly, it's, it's a, it's new world and it's old school. Old school in that it's got a lovely bitterness on the back end. But it's still juicy and drinkable as hell, really is. Grapefruit, mango, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. The beer just sips so well. Just the drinkability is absolutely fantastic. Nice bit of carbonation. Pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. And then on the back end, you have some nice bitterness. At the beginning, you have a nice feeling of the malt build. That nice biscuity, bready malt that then shifts over to juicy fruit, mango, citrus flavours I just mentioned. It's a little bit piney this one and there's some bitterness on the back end with a little bit of spice. Absolutely fantastic beer. And I promised to talk to you a little bit about this, this collaboration. Um, OO Brewing Company, there where my little pinky finger is, they brew at Stig Baguettes. It's like a close, uh, they've kind of borrowed the brewery. They're a bit of it. They were a bit. They were a bit of a gypsy brewery who kind of just stayed in Stig Baguettes and, 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 and rented their kit. The head brewer then of Stig Baguettes is the owner of OO Brewing Company. So it's like a, a split partnership thing. So maybe he gives sixty percent of his time for OO, or sixty percent of his time for Stig Baguettes. 
and 40% of his time for either stick baguettes or oh oh. Um, I was lucky enough to meet the, the, the lovely chap from Stig Baguettes, the head brewer. We, I met him in, in the Bergen Craft Beer Festival back in May. Uh, we had a long chat. He's a lovely guy. Have a look at the video on my YouTube channel, the chat. I just put in OO Brewing Company and I'm pretty sure you'll find it. But uh, in the video and, and to me, he explained that uh, he was actually splitting off now from Stig Baguettes. He, was, he had enough money and, and enough not confidence, but enough reassurance, if you like, to, to go and build his own brewery. So he didn't need the kit anymore, uh, didn't need to rely on Stig Baguette's kit anymore. So he, he built his own brewery. And probably by now, with with end of June, he's probably left Stig Baguette's by now. And he's opened his own brewery. So I think this beer, I've not Googled it, I'm not kind of look too much into it but I think this is a thank you a, a, a collaboration brew a thank you uh, to the two breweries who have worked in partnership over the last few years uh, so who's going to be brewing for Stig Baguettes now who's going to be brewing the amazing haze and the wonderful muddle uh, I believe it's uh, one of the brewers they tapped him up or he, he probably either works for Russian River Brewing Company or he used to work for Russian River Brewing Company. I don't know his name. I was just told about this. this, this, this. They got somebody from Russian River. So Stig Baguettes have now got somebody from Russian River Brewing Company to brew their beer, which is not a bad trade. They're a fantastic brewery. So um, everybody's happy, really. And I suppose um, they brewed a beer just to say that. Happy, happy, happy. 8% ABV, there's the story. What do you think of it? What do I think of it, really? Let's rate it. I like this beer because of the fact that it's still a little bit old school. I love these juicy IPAs. I brewed one myself called Juicy Simon with Lysifjord Microbrewery in Norway. Uh, and it's, it's, it's doing very well. It's a wonderful beer. And I'm very, very much a fan of these, these these beers. I'm also a massive fan of the good old-fashioned West Coast style. I can't believe I'm saying it. Old-fashioned West Coast IPAs. The ones with the bitterness on the back end. Uh, so, this is a very good mixture for me. This is a very good new world, old world fit in the middle for me. In terms of my personal taste. If you like a juicy beer, you will like this. If you like a bitter beer also, you will like it. If you like either or, you'll probably put up with it. If you're not a fan of bitterness, you'll probably put up with it because of the juiciness and vice versa. 8% um, ABV, I'm going to rate it. I like that one enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.